This is the moment where I'm going to prepare this turkey the Hispanic way. These are the items that I will be using in the video. Oh, sorry. Really didn't show what it was. Garlic. Adobo. Uh, seasoning. Now we're going to start by adding every ingredient together. Vinegar. Garlic will be the next one. Next will be my favorite sofrito Scoia product. I'm gonna stop for a second. Okay. Another spoon. Next, the green seasoning that has all kinds of seasonings all-purpose I'm going to mix it in at the end five rounds of adobo time to mix and on this video you can tell I forgot the packet seasonings but I will add sometime in this video so now I start putting the flavor in the sockets that I made in the turkey to give it that flavor when it sits in the refrigerator it gives it that touch so I'm going to continue stuffing the sockets and putting the flavor on the turkey. I'm going to add more punctures to the turkey. So I noticed that we only had a few holes in the turkey. Yeah, I made holes on the leg parts so the flavors could stick in. Looks good, huh? Now I'm gonna continue stuffing the sockets. Sorry if it sounds kind of weird. Sockets. <laughs> the puncture holes I continue to add more flavor in those sockets so I continue to give it that flavor Now we add it on the parts of the turkey and rub it in the skin and give it that flavor. So definitely looks about what I am supposed to be doing. Now I realize I didn't add the seasoning packets, which I will add now. Sorry, forgot this is the other main ingredient that gives it flavor and a touch of color.
will be pouring it on as you can tell it will give a color and this packet has its own spice to it that why it gives it that good flavor Stuffing it in, putting it in the inside, giving it flavor all around the turkey. That's a Puerto Rican thing. Well, a lot of Hispanics do it like that. Some may do it the American way. But I, I love doing it the Hispanic way. So I'm going to continue. As you can tell, I'm almost finishing up. Just because you don't see me putting the seasonings at the bottom doesn't mean that the bottom of the turkey would not get the flavor. Believe me, it will. Because all them juices fall to the bottom. It will give it that flavor. It will just be the same all the way around. So now as I'm done with the turkey, I'm going to add a little more adobo to the top, just locking the, the flavor, just locking in the flavor just to give it that amazing taste. Well, that will be about it with that. Then I add a little bit of the other seasoning. I love this one. It has all the seasonings you need. Then one more packet of the adobo seasoning, achote, to give it that red flavor, that red, red color touch well that will conclude my seasonings of the turkey and I will have to put it in the refrigerator for one hour so that will be the next step no sorry it will be overnight And then the next morning, go back to what I was doing with the turkey. Now we're going to put in the pin that tells you when the turkey is ready. Stick that in. Now rub my fingers all around the turkey to give that beautiful color. It's looking beautiful. I love how it looks. One second. Get the cleaner all the way around the mess. 
choice that I made. Now it's time after a night of seasonings and now it's time to add the oven bag this oven bag it will keep the flavors locked in so that way the turkey don't dry as much from the inside it will stay juicy in the inside well I don't know about juicy juicy but it will keep it moist if I would have used aluminum aluminum foil maybe it will be more soft and add if I add more flavored water to it then it will be like really really juicy but I'm just gonna do it at normal so now I'm going to add this oven bag. Time to lift it up. Stick the arms in. I think that this bag is enough. I think with this, it's fine. Fix it to a point where it will look nice. So. Yeah, like I said, look how nice it looks from the outside of the bag. Now I'm going to continue by setting the oven. Now it's time to add it to the oven. Oops, sorry if you've seen my personal stuff back there. Didn't mean for that to happen. Now it's time to cook. Next step, I'm making pumpkin pie. And I'm going to make it my way. I have the ingredients here, as you can tell. I have the pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice, lechera, which is condensed milk, sweet and condensed milk, cinnamon, a vanilla extract those are the items that I will be using in this part of the video and of course two eggs forgot to mention now let's start adding the pumpkin pie flavor love pumpkin pie. Who loves pumpkin pie? I sure do. Zoom it in a little so you guys can see. It's just thinking about making sure every piece of this can is emptied out. Oops, sorry, bumped into the camera.
I was talking to my daughter at this moment. Now adding the sweet condensed milk. Half a can. Well, a little more half of a can. <laughs> Just to give it that sweet taste. I will add my two eggs. Now adding my cinnamon. Be generous with the cinnamon. Now my pumpkin pie seasoning. And then a little bit of vanilla extract of any flavor. It doesn't matter what the name brand is. Now it's time to stir. Looking good so far, guys. Can't wait to try this pumpkin pie. As I continue to stir, make it thin, thin it out. So now I'll taste the flavor. Very good, guys. Now it's time to take off the pie crust. And add my pie filling. So good, guys. And I'm going to use the bottom portion of the pie. Don't mind me, guys. I'm trying to add, like, the cross back on, but I know that's impossible. Stir it a little more before adding into the pie. Oh, most of the the pie filling goes in. I think the whole thing kind of went in. Um, most of it. So. Sorry, you couldn't see the pie completely in the video. I kind of forgot that I zoomed in the video. But you can see part of it. You can tell that it looks good. I'm not using this other pie crust since most of the pie filling went in that one pie. Oops, sorry. Knocking over stuff. Look at the end results. It looks beautiful. Filled just right at the top. Next step three. We finna do green bean casserole. These are the items that we will be using. Two cans of cream of mushrooms. Two cans of green beans, one onion flakes, 
pepper and a little milk two-thirds of milk I'm gonna add everything in this bowl starting with the cream of chicken oh sorry cream of mushroom I don't know why I'm saying cream of chicken I must want to eat dumplings or something but yes cream of mushroom will be then adding of this recipe as I clean out the cans oops too big I get a smaller one empty the cans out as much as you can to give it that full effect of the meal I love to empty it out Taking me a minute to open this other can, but it's okay. Adding the next can. As I continue to empty out the can to do the next step. Now, the green bean cans will be the next ones to be added. So, we will add those two cans there. So, let's get started with the process. It's quick, as easy. Two. This time I use French green beans. Usually I use the regular green beans can, but to me they're the same. Now stir the cream of mushroom really good into the green beans to give it that texture that needs to be added. And as you can tell, add some milk Add a little mix, mix, and then I pour it. Just add the little rest of the milk to give it that creamy touch. Stirring it, mixing well. Add the rest of the milk. Continue stirring it until I think it's ready to be added to the pan. Add a little pepper. Well, generously pepper. I add enough. Mix. Mix well. And it's time to add it to the pan, I'll say. Sorry, guys, I have a habit of mixing it. But I will add it to the pan. And then after adding it, we will add...
that's how it looks after mixing well. Then we're going to add these onions on top. Adding the onions. I love this part. I put it all on top. <laughs> you can put as much as you want of the onions. I like a lot of it. I fill it up. And at this time, after doing all of that, add it in the oven for five minutes. Next part four, I'm making homemade cranberry sauce. I have two bags, one cup of sugar, one cup of orange juice, and one cup of water. Now we're heading here to the stove. Sorry, I'm blocking the view. Adding the items that needs to be added. water and sugar stir well I'm putting on medium heat once it gets to a simmer a simmer that you need Looking good, guys. Now add the cranberries. Sorry if I'm blocking the camera. I didn't realize that until now. And I continue working. You know, continue mixing it. I'm getting the juices. Pretty soon you might hearing you might start hearing the poppy noise of the cranberry. Let it simmer while it pops in between of the cooking. Keep mixing it well. mixing it until it starts getting boiled and then mm. 
looking good so far, guys. Gotta wait. See the now this is how it looks now. It's coming to the point. Now we're gonna take some excess of the foam part off. We can get as much as we can out. Lowering the heat. Getting some of that out. Getting some out. And mix well. Mixing it well. I continue to take out some of the foaming parts as much as I can because of course we can't take all of it out and then continue stirring to make it that texture for cranberry sauce. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, sorry for that noise in the background. It's coming together, guys. It's looking good. Now this is the end result guys. This is how the cranberry sauce should look like after 20 minutes of cooking on the stove. Well say about 20 to 30 minutes or so. I think about 30 minutes almost. Didn't keep a track of time, but I know once it looks like this, <clears throat> they consider that it's done and well cooked mm -hmm. because of the texture and the color of the cranberry. I'm just gonna leave it on for a little bit on the heat. Creeping excess off because I'm gonna take it out soon. Tasting it, taste to see if it came just right. Good, it's very awesome. Taste is good. Stir it a little. I'm going to proceed to add it into this container. And I'm just going to turn off the stove. And now turn it 
the handle and start adding it in the container for cooling. Guys, it looks so good. And it tastes so good. So here we go. You see how nice it looks? Guys, you should try this and you won't regret it. It's so amazing. The flavor is so good. And then, you know, if it's not sweet enough, doesn't have enough flavor to it, you could add more sugar to it. In the midst of cooking it, you can add it. So guys, yes, this is the end result. And looks good. What do you think? Looks just about. Now the next step. Sweet potato. I'm just going to cut them into parts. With these, I will add them into an oven bag, of course. I'm going to cut them in half or in fours. So here we're going to proceed to cut. And the smaller ones I will cut in half and the bigger ones maybe in fours. Yes. Exactly what I... Maybe, like I said, depending on the size, <laughs> kind of hard, huh? Seem hard when you're cutting. Since there's not many of us. Counting guys, sorry. So yeah, I'm gonna grab an oven bag and I'm gonna add these in there. Just to lock in the steam when it's cooking. In the bag. Oh, forgot the strip. Close the bag. So, guys, so I'm going to get started by placing the steam bag. And then I'm going to add the potatoes in. Try to fit them perfectly. As you can see, I'm just going to add them around. And then whatever's left after I fill the round of the the dish I'm going to place on top, which it's not going to make a difference because they're all going to cook the same. But yeah, um, we love sweet potato pie. We love sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. So now I'm going to close the bag and then I'm going to add the Thai to it to lock in the steam which I thought I grabbed it the first time that I digged in there I guess I'm gonna get another one out see the tie that, that holds in 
very good. Pull it through the hole. Pull it tight. I'm keeping the heat. Can't wait to taste the sweet potato. So I stuck the end part in. That's how it came out. Now it's ready to set aside and put it in the oven after. As I cook the stuff that I need to be cooking. That's how it looks, guys. Next step, putting everything in the oven. Green bean casserole. My pumpkin pie, homemade. Looks good, guys. Next, the potatoes. Oh, sweet potatoes. I would have made a sweet potato pie, but I wasn't going to take my whole day by cooking. No. Sit and wait. The turkey is done. This is how it came out. The juices are at the bottom. I left it a little too long, so it may be a little dry, I'm not sure. I usually let it so the juices could come out. I'm taking out some stock because I'm going to use it. So with this um, chicken stock. I'm going to use it in my gravy. As you can tell, I just put it over and see how hot and moist is that turkey. Looks so delicious. Stick to the plastic. Let me get it off. What do you think, guys? How did I do on my turkey? It's soft. Pulls off easy. Look at the bone. You can literally see it. Look how nice and tender is that guys if you notice I'm using a hunting knife it's new I just like cutting with it because it's sharp looks good hmm look at that look at that baby very juicy and tender. Very fine and delicious. Well, someone stole that piece. <laughs> My piece of chicken. <laughs> Look at that. What a beauty. Next, as I add the stock into that pot, I will add some more, another packet of gravy. Sorry, making a mess. So then I whisk 
the gravy powder in to thins out. Next. Add to the stove. High heat. Don't mind my stove, guys. It's looking a little jacked up because I've been cooking all day. Non-stop, you know how that is. I mean, it's Thanksgiving. Lower the heat on both sides. We have two different pots running at the moment. That's the previous pot. I'm gonna let it simmer. Until it thickens. Keep stirring meanwhile. So the gravy turns thicker. <clears throat> I like how it seems. So here she sit and wait. Mix it in. As you can see, it's starting to thicken. Now next, I'm making Puerto Rican rice. Adding some gandulas into the pot. Well, these are homemade gandulas, pigeon peas. I boil them from scratch. I like it better boiled from scratch. Now next, we're gonna add some minced garlic. little of that and then the greens all seasons powder add whatever was left now next adobo like one two three four and a little more off the top and not least sofrito goya sofrito couple spoons we're gonna add in to give it that flavor and then the next part will be the sasson yellow seasoning packing sasson gives it a hint of a yellow color pack of that mix it well adds some cilantro to give it that mint flavor no we'll mix well before I add anything else 
Next, we're adding the rice. It's clean rice, guys. I washed it, and now I'm adding it. Oh, I made a mess. Either way, I gotta clean the stove. I've been cooking the entire day. Then I'm going to stir that rice. Stir the flavors into the rice. Stir it very well. On a low heat. Before I pick up the heat, I'll just marinate it in the right way. Next, time to start adding water. I'm going to add a little over the top of the rice. If you're a cook, you already would know how much to add. Let it simmer. Simmer until the water drains out. Once it's completely So next, guys, we're making potato salad, and especially my way. Cut the eggs in four pieces, dice them up, and that's what I do. That's how I like to eat in my salad. Well, maybe most of you do, right? Keep cutting each egg the same way. So I continue to cut them that way. Guys, I tell you that it's been a workout cooking. So, we're going to add mustard and because I can that's my thing and some relish because I always do tastes so good it's kind of a American Hispanic way potato salad next I'm gonna add the mayonnaise emptied out the bottle as you can tell, I'm going to just finish it out. Don't need much of a mayonnaise. Adding evaporated milk. You'll probably think I'm nuts, but yeah, I do. I add it because it gives it a flavor and it fluffs up the potato. So, I don't know if many of you do the same. Now next, I add my adobo, like I said. This is a Hispanic way of how I prepare my potato salad. I'll mix it in well. 
And believe me, the end result is amazing. So good. Now it's ready. So guys, I'm done with the product. <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner 2020. So if you like this video, don't hesitate to press that like button, subscribe to this channel. Turn on your post notification bell. Until next time. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe. We love you. Bye.